I'm here with a game spotlight. I want to do these, um, I don't know, as often as I can. Probably just to, you know, spotlight any games that I have interest in, or any indie games, which this is a, uh, a fairly recent, I believe, indie game, A False Saint, An Honest Rogue. It's a fun game about uh, uh, freezing to death. So, it's fun. I'll take about five minutes for each of these game spotlights, just kind of show you what the game looks like. So here we are in the game. I'll also have a link at the bottom for it. And you start out with pretty much nothing. And you have to find your salvation, I guess. At the bottom here, the last thing he said was, if you want to live, head south. So we're going to try to head south. Um, you always you always start with a parachute. This can be used as a sleeping bag, I guess. And there are these chests. You need keys for them. You can find those around the world. And pretty much everything that you see here, you can all these little items you can pick up. And you can either wear them, like this is a balakava. I totally butchered that. I believe it's a hat. And you go pick these things up. Right now I don't really know which way is south because you start at a random uh, direction. And it's it's just a fun game. It here it gets dark. You have to you know survive the nights. You can you can kind of see, but it's it's hard. So you go to sleep. You wake up, and you can see your core body temperature is here. Once that reaches zero, you are frozen. You're dead. Your satiety. Your hunger. I'll say hunger. I'm really bad at this. Um, is right there. If that goes to zero, you're also gonna starve to death. And something that I've I've played a little bit of this game. Uh, I've never won. I don't know if you can win. But you do not want to get wet. That's that's a main one of your main goals to not get wet. You can eat food here. That was uh see there's mushrooms. I think what I ate was a mushroom as well. And you wanna pick up pretty much as much clothes as you can right away. And that um that will keep your cold resistance up. And as you can see, you wanna sleep every night probably just to oh I don't really know which way I was I think I was going this way. Footsteps, maybe. I don't know. It's it's disorienting. Okay, so now you can see the. I forgot about this. The sunlight. The sun comes up in the east. So, if this way is east over here, then I want to go south, right? Wait, is that what they said? I want to head south. It's always random which way you go. So I want to just keep going this way, as much as I can. Hopefully, you know I can go. Oh, and this I have two right boots, but I believe. This one is better. Nah, wind resistance. Oh boy. I wanna wear this one, so drop this one. You kinda get you wanna strategize a bit, but you it's 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 hard either way. Now this this thing over here, it's a transceiver or something like that. It shows you it gives you like a general oh, I just got a text. It gives you a general idea of which way to go to get like a chest or a maybe even a a shack. Shacks also have things in them. And those can usually have some pretty interesting items that'll help you along your way. I want to make sure I keep going this way. Right? East. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Oh, and there's a clock. I want that. Or like a watch. I don't know. Maybe it's a clock. Watch. A glow in the water watch. It'll tell you the time, which can kind of help. As I was saying, there are these huts here. You can't get inside them without a key. And they have some pretty good items in them. They usually have, like, actually good, um clothing and stuff that actually helps you. I can wear that. And as you can see, my cold resistance is, you know, decent. It's not not amazing or anything, but it's decent. And you just you just try to get to wherever they told you to go. So hopefully, I am going the right way. I believe this one's better. And, oh, oh. Okay, so as you could see, the, the ice there broke through, and I fell into water. Ah, uh, that, that really stinks. I don't know. I'm getting so cold. Look at my body temperature. Oh, I'm freezing. I I don't know what to do here. See, so, so as you can see, it's it's a hard game. It's and uh, maybe you should sleep just for a few minutes. I don't think I'd want to do that. I think I'm gonna die. Hmm. Well, I am dead. I died of hypothermia. Well, that was a terrible, terrible playthrough of that game. But as you can see, it is a very interesting game. It's There's a lot more to it, and I still don't know how, what happens when you win. But it's it's very interesting. You can play as many times as you want. It'll save your, save your progress, how far you were from escaping. And it's just a interesting, it's kind of a fun little mini game. A uh, fun little indie game. So definitely watch out for that. 
I'm not sure if they're gonna like extend it or anything or make a uh, official version later on but for now I'll leave the link in the description you guys can check it out for yourselves it's totally free and I'll try to get these game spotlights out you know maybe maybe whenever maybe once a week maybe um, it's mostly just whenever I find a cool new game so that was a false saint and honest rogue and I hope you guys had fun watching thank you